So here's what we're doing today is we're taking three very similar homes that are all built around the same year and we are going to compare them to see what you get in which area of Asheville. And we're going to talk about that, the areas as well so that you'll have a really good understanding of how home prices differ in different areas. So here we are in the heart of West Asheville. This is a brand new build 2024. So it has the latest and greatest everything when we're talking about insulation, when we're talking about kitchens, um, location, everything this house has it. It is just freshly on the market in Asheville and it is a hop, skip and a jump from everything West Asheville and really easy to get downtown too. So I think we should take a look inside. This is a three bedroom, three and a half bath, three level floor plan. So really you gotta be okay with stairs, but also there's a lot of opportunity here if you want some extra working from home space or you ha want to have guests or an in-law suite. So let's check it out. Oh my God, I'm starting to get dizzy. So they bolted the ceilings, which is super smart and added a transom window at the top in the primary bedroom. It makes this bedroom that is quite normal size feel massive. What a great idea. You know what I bet? I bet they have a pretty cool bathroom off this bedroom. I knew it, look at this bathroom, it's amazing. Okay, so one thing that I noticed right off the bat is that they've matched in each bathroom the vanity and the countertop, so it's not a mix match all over the place, which I absolutely love. These sinks are awesome because when you're washing your face, you're not splashing water all over the place and you don't have to bend down as far. And I love a true water closet. This is a true water closet. seen as the primary bedroom's closet. Where is it? Is it hiding? But I bet it's good. I bet it's as good as the bathroom. <gasps> Here it is. Okay, cool. Look at this. This is like a long corridor all the way in. Oh my goodness. I would find a spot for everything in here. It is so big. Look at this. I could take five, six, seven steps to get out of that closet. Okay, so we're, when we're talking about technology, check out this switch. Who knows what this does? If you do, comment down below. Oh, cool, so that's the heat lamp. You can turn the fan on from this. You can turn another light on from this. This is all just like touch or, or a night light. How cool is that? So this is what we help people do, is we help find them the perfect house in the perfect area and location. So if you're looking to move to Asheville, reach out with any of the ways down below and we'll hook you up. So as we're looking in the primary suite over the backyard, you'll see a couple things that are really interesting. Of course, it's a newer build, so they put some sod in there. It's completely fenced in and they're still waiting for the grass to grow up, up on the berm right there. But they went ahead and they added a fire pit, which is fabulous. Everybody in Asheville has a fire pit for some reason and a fenced in yard because a lot of people have dogs. So it's going to be kind of private out there, especially with that being up on a hill. And then you'll see a fake stone there. Does anybody know why there's a fake stone in the city of Asheville and in someone's backyard? Comment down below if you know why. So in the hallway up here, there's another laundry closet. So you could have laundry on the bottom floor and up here, which is perfect. And we 
totally forgot to see what room was on the other side here because this is a room that is off the kitchen but also off the front door. And this would be a perfect office. It faces the front road, um, it's easily accessible. It could also be a bedroom, but there's no closet in here. But nice little flex room. And then here's the front door, y'all. So you really, you have two ways to enter the house, from the bottom floor and then from, from the top floor. Most of the time you're gonna be coming in through the bottom because it's on the street level. And you're looking out over Louisiana Avenue, which is a kind of a busy road, but the pros and the cons of that is that you have direct and easy access to all of downtown and West Asheville. And it is like, it is just minutes. It's minutes to get anywhere that's enjoyable and fun. Okay, here's our cute little backyard. It's cute and tiny, but we don't need more because we're living in the city. They made like a little gravel pathway here and they already went ahead and put in your fire pit so you don't even have to think about adding that later you have a totally fenced in yard so if you have a little pup then you're good to golden how easy breezy is that take a look at the back of the home too this has really nice siding top of the line windows only two levels back here so your other third lower level is only located in the front this would be really easy to spend a lot of time outdoors because it's easily accessible as well. You could just put a grill out here and go to town. I love it when there's a porch right off of the kitchen and dining room so that there's no um, nothing that's really blocking you from eating outside and being outside. It's just easy steps in and out. So how much do you think this house comes in at? Anybody wanna guess? I'm gonna wait till the end to tell you because there's three different tiers. They're all similarly priced but they're gonna be in three different areas of Asheville. So you're gonna to have to wait and find out to the very end. Which won't take forever, y'all. You can do it. Okay, where should we head next? So Central Asheville. Let's hit it. On to the next one. So here we are, we're going to the next house. It's gonna be cool, it's another new build. And this one is located in kind of central Asheville, 28803 zip code. That just means it's like kind of south and central, right off Tunnel Road, about four minutes from Tunnel Road. Tunnel Road is what connects downtown Asheville to East Asheville. And you'll find lots of things along the way like the Kenilworth area and subdivision and Beverly Hills and also Hall Creek, which we've done videos on before. And this house that we're going to right now is not far from that. So if you want something that's kind of centrally located and it's easy to get south as well as north and east and west, haha, then 28803 is a really good option. And that's really where we come into play because we help you decide which area is right for you. So we have a little meeting, you tell us your criteria, what you're looking for, and we point you in the right direction. So reach out any of the ways down below. And we are gonna go in this new build, 2023 Modern Farmhouse and see what it's all about. See what a modern farmhouse even looks like inside and how is it even different from other homes that are new builds. So this has three bedrooms, three and a half baths, pretty private yard. I mean, you do have some people around you, but it's good. you have this like little area that feels like it's in the middle of nowhere. I love this modern look on the outside with the, with a the rough wood. And then you have these glass doors. And for you garage lover, get, lovers, guess what? We have a garage on this one. Come on in. So when you come into this home, you are coming straight into the kitchen. Another open concept plan. Very rarely these days do you see kitchens that are in a separate room than the living room. So it's typically overlooking it. You do have a little bit of a bar here. And again, you have gas, which is awesome. I love this herringbone tile that they incorporated. And what you see a lot these days are these rough wood shelves. So cabinets sometimes can add a really heavy look 
to a kitchen. And so all the time, if you have some nice white or beautifully colored, um, what are they called? Pottery? What are they called? No. Dishes. <laughs> and then on the other side, you'll see they do have cabinets. So you have both options. And then a lot of times now, there are big drawers down below. Similar fridge to the other place. And you have an, some extra storage up here. Now, let's look at the living room. It's really big. I love this. And you know what they've done here that is a little different than other places? Instead of centering this fireplace in the middle of the room, they have put it on one side so it adds a lot of dimension and allows for larger windows and lots of light to come in as well. So we have a gas fireplace here with some, some gray shiplap. And again, this wood will match the wood in the kitchen. Should we look outside? Okay, let's head out. Okay, one of my favorite things about new builds are the doors. Look how massive these are. So you could totally open this up and have an indoor, outdoor kind of feel. And look how big this deck is. Just imagine, and at month or two, when all of this is covered with green, how private and secluded you will feel, even though you are, what? five, six minutes from downtown Asheville. Now you're gonna have some homes around you and this is an area of Kenilworth that is evolving and becoming, becoming a little bit different than it used to be. So you're gonna find new builds next to older homes. But look out on the side here. Now your privacy and your backyard on this home is really gonna be on the side of the home, which sometimes you'll see. And look, they have the metal posts instead of the wood posts, which adds that modern touch. Let's head back in though, because I wanna see the bedroom. So another thing you'll notice is the flooring here. It's a lot different than traditional homes because it's modern. So you're gonna have these really wide planks here. Whoa, cool, look at this. That is so fun and smart. So they put a whole wood panel here as an accent panel against this wall because otherwise it would just be a huge white wall. It really adds to this modern feel of this whole home, especially like with the metal banister and the natural wood accents throughout. So here we have an expansive primary bedroom with big windows and really tall ceilings again. Two different closets here. So you can each have your own closet if you're living with someone. And then as you walk through another closet, you will find we are in the primary bathroom. <gasps> Look at this. What a cool blend of like openness, contemporary, modern. You'll find dark tile on the floor, which is really cool with the hexagon and then the penny tile in here. Oh look, it's a shower and a bathtub in one. It's another shower party, I love it. So you could totally take a shower in here and make as much mess as you want and it doesn't matter because it's only going in the bathtub anyway. Yeah, this is really nice. So you never have to have a shower curtain or a door or anything. So in here, this is a guest bedroom or an office. It overlooks the driveway. But you can also see right behind me here are two other new builds that look like they've been finished in the last couple of years at least. There's vaulted ceilings in here. And then coming through back to the main area, past the staircase, there's another living space right here. So this could act as like a TV room or a playroom if there's children or a reading area. Another little guest bedroom, nursery, office, what have you, on the back side of the house. Big, light, open windows. Front side of the house, you have another one with double closets as well. And then here's a bathroom up here. I love, I love like glossy, uh, kind of modern vanities. This is a nice little bathroom. And then you have laundry right up here. I love it when the laundry's really close to the bedrooms. So here's where the washer and dryer would go. Right in the middle of everything. And then I just want to showcase just that, ch that chandelier type of thing right there along there. I think it's beautiful. I think it's fun. And last but not least, your much coveted garage. It is a single car garage. I have lots of space there. 
So how much is this beauty in zip code 28803? 919. So how much is it for the West Asheville house? It is $950,000. So now we're heading from Central Asheville 28803 to 28805. Does anybody know what 28805 is? That is the place where East Asheville happened. And East Asheville is one of my favorite hidden secrets. You know why? Because there's very little to no traffic in that area and it's nature filled. And so where we're going next is in the Hall Creek subdivision. And this home has been on the market for not too long, but it has a little extra something something with it. So stay tuned. And then if you're looking for your place that you want to call home, be sure to reach out to us and we will pack our cars and help you move. Just kidding. We won't, but we'll tell you where you do want to move. Reach out any of the ways down below, whatever makes you feel the most comfortable and good. So when you're in East Asheville, one of the things that you drive by is the mall area and all the big box stores. So they're all on the east side, including like Walmart. Walmart's kind of southeast, but like we have the mall, we have Target, we have TJ Maxx, we have Whole Foods right here. And then as soon as you pretty much cross this bridge here, where 240, um, 240 ends, then you're in East Asheville, really. I mean, once you go through the tunnel, actually, you're in East Asheville. But this is kind of the big landmark. And once you get on the other side of this bridge, on the left-hand side is the subdivision called Haw Creek. So Haw Creek is a pretty special place to live. Like I said, there's larger lots, there's a little bit more breathing room. You're about 10 to 12 minutes from downtown Asheville, but Hall Creek in itself is a destination because it has two different schools, two different elementary schools. It has a community center where they do movement classes and they do cooking classes. It used to be an old church actually. And it also, um, they also do yoga, have yoga classes there and kirtan and all kinds of really uh, fabulous things to participate in. There are sidewalks in Haw Creek in different parts of it. There's many subdivisions within this larger area of Haw Creek. There's a few different restaurants. There is a restaurant that we call the cow on the roof or something like that, but it actually has another name incredible for kids because it has it has really good food but also you can sit outside on picnic tables in the back and there's a playground and there's a creek that runs right through it too and so my kids when I take them there are entertained for hours because they can just like play with their friends and come and get a bite to eat um, on a whim and they don't have to sit down at a nice restaurant for a long time and be good and one of my favorite things that Hog Creek has is the pool so it's called the East Asheville Recreation Center. And this is a member only um, uh, membership. And sometimes it can have a long waiting list. So if you think you're gonna live in East Asheville and wanna be a part of this, then you should definitely check it out. But it has a zero entry pool. So little people have a great time playing around. It's like the beach and there's lifeguards and they play really great music. And so um, it's a place where parents can go and just relax. They also have tennis all year and pickleball. And it's a good place to get to know your neighbors. How cool is that? So just like that bubble maker on a mailbox in Hall Creek, I mean, like you'll find those little touches throughout Asheville and it just adds this extra little zing to life that you don't see in other places. We're gonna rock down to a electric avenue and then we'll take it higher. <laughs> okay, here we go. Welcome to the Red House in Haw Creek. Come on in. Okay, so this is a pretty big house and you're gonna find out why it's such a big house in just a little bit. Again, we have this open floor plan with the kitchen, a little bit of a different direction with the, with the bar, but nice stone countertops. Off the kitchen, you know that's my favorite, 
is the deck. This is gonna be elevated, so a little bit off the ground because there's something a little bit special down below, which we're gonna show you in just a minute. This is totally private. I'm looking out over the trees. I mean, there are some houses. Oh, quiet dog. There are some houses back there, but um, if you're out here and you're just by yourself and not making a racket like I am right now, then you feel a world, a world away from everything. Okay, so off the kitchen in the living room, here is the primary bedroom. It's quite large, tall ceilings, walk-in closet. Here you have a bathroom. Um, Yeah, it's a bathroom. It has all the things a bathroom needs. <laughs> all the things. And then let's see what's upstairs. I don't know how to get upstairs. You have a little half bath here, but then you have this area right here which would make for a perfect home office. It overlooks the front uh, driveway, so you can see when people are coming. And it's not a bedroom because it's too small and it has an electric panel in here which you could easily probably cover up with a painting, but it's a great home office. Now, where are the stairs? What's this? This is not stairs. This is a tiny closet. Here they are. Okay, rock and roll, let's go. Okay, so as we reach the top of the stairs, you will find there are, I think, two bedrooms up here, one on either side. Medium-sized bedrooms, so two bedrooms upstairs. Woo! That's some storage space in there. That's not for public consumption. Nice big wide tiles that again have matched the vanity perfectly and everything looks really good. Why would it say five bedrooms if there's only three bedrooms? There must be another level I'm missing. Let's go find that. So if we walk down the driveway on the other side to the back of the home, you'll see something that most people who move to Asheville are super excited about. Because if they're moving with their parents or in-laws, or they want to make extra rental income, this comes with a whole lower level down here with still pretty nice height ceilings, but you have a whole apartment down here. And it's not a studio apartment either. There's actually walls. Here you have like a little kitchenette. Has everything you need. We are missing an oven but I'm sure that could be added or will be added. I mean, you have to remember, this is all brand new. Got the double stack. And then when you come around here, you have two bedrooms. So think about this. You could live upstairs and totally rent this out. This is a two bedroom, one bath apartment in the city limits of Asheville. So if you're thinking about perhaps trying to rent this as a short-term rental on Airbnb or some platform like that, because it is in the city limits, you're gonna have to get a permit. So you could rent this long-term or probably over 30 days. Here you have a bathroom in between the two bedrooms and here's another bedroom. Now you'll notice part of this bedroom is below grade. So that will come into effect if you're thinking about reselling, you'll just have to list it differently when it comes to the square footage. But still, there's lots of natural light and you're, still, you're not gonna be below. So you're not gonna accumulate a lot of that moisture that sometimes you can find in North Carolina. But how cool would that be? You could live upstairs, have the extra income from down below, have a separate driveway, a separate entrance, and you wouldn't even be disturbed by the people downstairs. What a wonderful situation. Okay, so how much is this house in Hall Creek, zip code 28805? Think about it. So it has three bedrooms in the main house, two bedrooms down below. You can make extra rental income for, da -na 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 -na. 850. What? What? 12 minutes from downtown? And look at this view in the distance. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Okay, but these are not the only areas in Asheville. There's lots of other ones that you could consider living in, and that's exactly what we do. We help figure out your specific place. So reach out any of the ways down below. And if you want to learn more about different parts of Asheville, click on this video right here.